This is Rosa, David, <laughs> and Catherine. And we're about to enter into their home, if that's what you want to call uh, this. It's a home that is, well, the roof is scrap metal. It's a bunch of uh, leaves. But look at the joy on their faces. Look at these smiles. This is uh, Rosa's mom and dad. So this house actually uh, takes care of seven people. Um, mom and dad, Rosa and her husband, Angel, and three children, little Rosa, little David, and Catherine. We're going to enter in and kind of show you their living experience. I want you to look at these walls, if that's what you want to call them, right behind me. It's plastic. It's plastic. Do you understand? This is plastic. And, and we have rusted roof with all kinds of holes in the roof. We have obviously a dirt floor, sand. It's a sand floor. Sanitation is a problem. Water is a problem. Food is a problem. Shelter is a problem. Think about it. We can come together and make such a big difference for families like this, as well as the 179 others who are in extreme conditions where it's actually life-threatening. Let's go and take a look at this kitchen that really nailed me when I sat and I looked at where these women cook. First of all, there's ducks all over the floor and obviously the ground is not um, stable. But when I came over to Rosa's kitchen, you know, it made me think about, um, you know, all the homes that we've all lived in and how we can complain about our countertops and not enough space or we look at our pantry filled with food. I, I want you to look at this. Here's, here's dinner. We have a bowl of rice where she's picking out the bad pieces. It's the cabinet for the dishes. There is no food on the shelves. You know, they've, they've taken what other people have thrown away. They've taken trash and made a stove out of it. This is the water. I want you to imagine this young man is the same age as my, two of my grandsons. This, this right here, here's a bucket. It's not clean, it's not white, it's not purified, it's not sterilized, but this is the water. I mean, come on, you can see the dust, the dirt, his dirty hands inside of the water, and this is what you're gonna serve your family. This is what you're gonna cook with. I mean, most of us wouldn't even wash our face in this. This is a reality. Here she goes, making the rice. Okay, just imagine, this is where you're gonna take a shower. This is it. Come into the bathroom with me. This is the shower. Okay, come on. It's a bucket. Think about it. You come in here. It's not so private. There's holes inside of this plastic. You know, take water from a little bowl, stick it in the bucket and pour it over yourself. You know, sometimes people uh, end up putting two, three, four, and five bathrooms in their house because, you know, the bathroom was like a little too far away. Well, we had to walk all the way around the entire uh, dwelling just to get over here, so it's nowhere near. But I want you to think about this. This is your bathroom, your toilet. Th this is it. I know you use the bathroom today. I know you probably used it many times today. Were you grateful for the privacy that you had? Simple things in life that you and I completely take for granted. Father, thank you so much for uh, bringing me here today. Thank you, Father, for Rosa, for her parents, for her husband, her children. Thank you, Father, for what you have given them so far. And I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity for much more to be given. Lord, I thank you that this year will be a year where they see their prayers answered, that this would be a year that they see that you would bless them according to your riches and not according to their need. God, that you would uh, bestow upon them answers that they've been crying out for for a really, really, really long time. And that mom and dad, as they've cried out to you their entire lives, that they will see their family blessed. They'll see their family coming out of suffering and out of struggle. And that, Father, that their praises that they put up to you in complete faith and all that they found things to be grateful for, God, you're going to give them ever so much more to be grateful for. Um, Father, I pray the blood of Jesus over this home, that as the rains begin, God, that you protect 
protect this house, that you protect this area. Um, Father, I pray that this be the very last year that they ever have to suffer through a rainy season. I pray this be the very last year they ever have to suffer through a lack of food, a lack of work, a lack of money. Um, and Father, I pray that you ever increase the joy that's upon their life than what they already have. We pray all these things and I bless them, I bless them, I bless them, every single one of them in Jesus' name, amen. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>